we're going to be adding and subtracting radicals. The first and most important part of adding and subtracting radicals is to look at the radical itself. So this is the square root of 5, and this is the square root of 5. Now we, both, we know that 5 is a prime number, so that means that this radical cannot be simplified. So all we're going to do is do the math operation to the numbers outside of the radical. So you can almost think of the radical 5 as an x, like 2x plus 4x. You would just simply add the 2 and the 4, which is going to give you 6x, or in this case is going to give you 6 square roots of 5. So when you're working with radicals, the first thing that you always want to look at is, is the radical simplified? Okay, so that's going to be our first step. Simplify the radical. So we're going to come over here to the side here, and we're going to do 12. And we're going to break down 12 into 6 and 2, and break down 6 into 3 and 2. 3 is prime, 2 is prime, 2 is prime. So this is now the square root of 2 times 2 times 3. Next, we're going to do 75. So we'll break down 75 is 25 and 3. 3 is prime. 25 is 5 and 5. 5 is prime. So this is going to be plus 3 times 5 times 5. Now, just like we talked about, our shortcut is to go fish. So we have a set of 2's here, so that 2 is going to come outside, and it's going to be 2 square roots of 3. And we have a set of 5's, so the 5 is going to come outside. 5 square roots of 3. Now we look at our radicals, and both the radicals are identical. So that means we're going to do the math operation to the number outside of the radical. So we're going to do 2 plus 5 is going to be 7 square roots of 3. All right, next one we have is 45. But notice that we have 3 outside of the 45. So we're already going to need to keep that 3 but we're going to break down the 45. So we have 45 is 9 times 5. 5 is prime. 9 is 3 times 3. 3 is prime and 3 is prime. So 3 times 3 times 5 minus. Now we have another number outside of the radical. So we're going to keep that 2 outside the radical. We're going to go ahead and break down 80. So 80 is 8 times 10. Neither one is prime. Break down 8, 2 times 4, 2 is prime. 4 is 2 times 2, both of those are prime. And 5 is, or 10 is 2 times 5, 5 is prime and 2 is prime. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So we've broken down 45 into its prime factors and 80 into its prime factors. Now we're going to go ahead and go fish. We have a pair of threes, so this three is going to stay outside, and we're going to bring out the other three times the square root of five minus this two is going to stay outside, but we're also going to bring out another two, and we're going to bring out a, set, a third two, and then the five is going to stay inside because there isn't a pair of fives. So I have nine square roots of five, minus 8 square roots of 5. The radicals are the same, so we do the math operation to the numbers outside, so it's simply the square root of 5. All right, the last one now is a fraction, so we're going to go ahead and simplify. We need to simplify 28 first, so we're going to do 28 breaks down to 4 and 7. 7 is prime, 2 and 2, and 2 is prime. So this is going to be 6 square roots of 2 times 2 times 7 plus 63. Break that down into 9 times 7. 7 is prime. Break down 9, 3 and 3, and 3 is prime. So this is going to be the square root of 3 times 3 times 7 all over 10. All right, so now we're going to go and do some fishing here, take out some pairs. So this is going to be 6 times 2 times 7 plus 
3 square roots of 7 all over 10. Multiply the 6 and the 2, so we're going to have 12 square roots of 7 plus 3 square roots of 7 all over 10. Two sevens are the same, so we're going to do the math operation to the, the numbers outside it. So it's going to be 15 square roots of 7 over 10. Now, the 7 cannot be simplified. We've already done the go fish on it, so we know that our answer is going to have the square root of 7. But we can simplify 10 and 15 because they're both outside of the square root of 7. So I can divide 15 by 5 and get 3 and divide 10 by 5 and get 2, and that would be my final answer. And now you know how to add and subtract radicals.